great. And now we are so excited to have Sister Elizabeth Ann joining us today to share news about the silver anniversary of the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. Thank you so much for being with us, Sister. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be with you today. Yeah. Now, the community was established in 1997 in response to a call of Pope St. John Paul II's uh, call for a new evangelization. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so our community was founded by four religious women from another Dominican community. And um, each one of them individually felt um, a call to make a new foundation. So they, they love their religious community, love their vocations, but they also saw the decline of religious life throughout the country. And, um, and, uh, and they, they knew that one solution to that would be to just spread the witness of religious life in more places. So they individually felt this call to form a new community. And then their vision was, you know, when they reach about 100 sisters, they would look to, to make another new foundation. And so pepper the United States with the witness of vibrant religious life. And, I, and then when John Paul II uh, made his call for new evangelization, they, they explained that they felt that confirmed their call, you know, to, to go out and proclaim the good news about religious life in particular. That's wonderful. And sister, you know, I was looking on the website and it's really amazing. The average age in your community is 33 years old. So there seems to definitely be a, a certain charism that is attracting these young women. So the way that this community has grown in the 25 years, can you just share a little bit about um, these beautiful women that are being called to this vocation and your charisms? Sure. Yeah. We've been blessed with so many young vocations. And, you know, when um, I entered the community in 2000, so three, three years after the community had been founded, and there were 12 sisters in the community by that time. So they started with four. And within those first few years, they had 12 vocations. And then 13 women entered the community in the year 2000. So we doubled the size of the community when we joined. And, uh, and that was amazing. And uh, the and then the community grew, has, it's just grown every year. You know, they've received a large number of vocations. Now we have over 150 sisters. And, uh, and I know speaking for myself that one of the things that drew me to the community was just the joy of the sisters. You know, I thought these are women who are fully alive in Christ and they um, they love their vocations. They It's that attractiveness of a life totally given for Christ. Um, it is a life of joy. And uh, just seeing the, the, the love and the joy of these women um, really drew me to them. Uh, first of all, and then of course it's rooted uh, in just that experience of Christ's love. You know, like they want to be fully given because they have experienced His love. They want to give themselves fully in return, and and that's what I experienced also. Uh, so in the, the the particular charism of our community, um, I always say a way to explain it is it's really summed up in our name. We're Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist, and so we're Dominican. We're founded by Saint Dominic in the Middle Ages to preach and teach the gospel, and then we have a special um, or a specific devotion to Our Lady and to the Eucharist. So we do the de Montfort merit consecration as a community, and we make a Eucharist holy hour every day. And that's really the foundation of our life. So the Dominican, um, one of the mottos is to contemplate and to give to others the fruits of our contemplation. So everything's rooted in our, uh, our vocation, that encounter with Christ in the Eucharist every day. And then from the chapel, we go forth and proclaim the gospel wherever, wherever we're asked to preach and teach. And I understand one aspect of your charism is sharing the good news through all means. And maybe if you could talk about the Open Light Media Initiative. Sure. Yeah, so this is a, kind of a more recent initiative. It's a digital platform and we host um, sisters, Dominican friars, uh, priests, bishops, lay people uh, talking and teaching on all different subjects. You know, everything from uh, little series on the virtues to be used in the classroom or the home, to uh, to interviews with uh, doctors and psychologists about the challenges of social media. You know, we cover kind of all the topics, and our goal is just to collaborate with parents, with families, with schools, um, you know, with with anyone who needs help in proclaiming the gospel and just kind of getting out there and uh, and and having a presence there. Uh, we think it's so in keeping with St. Dominic, you know, he was bold. He wanted to go wherever people were to proclaim the gospel. Um, he had his friars in universities uh, to, to begin with. Um, they, you know, were in the public squares of towns and the internet today is like the new public square. So we know St. Dominic would want to be there. And so we're there, you know, to help be a presence and proclaim the gospel uh, on the internet. Wonderful. And sister, I looked again on the website and it looks like there's a ton of beautiful events that are happening for the month of July. So again, 25 years is a beautiful milestone. And for your anniversary, how are you celebrating you and your community? Um, how are you celebrating and how can people learn more about your order? 
Yeah, great. So we're basically having a big party on Saturday, July 30th. It's going to be at Eastern Michigan University. So our, our mother house is in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And, I, and so that's the local university. Several of the sisters, myself included, got our teaching degrees there. So um, it's going to be at the Convocation Center there. But it starts in the afternoon. And it's the kind of event where you can come and go. You can come to the, the afternoon uh, part of it. You can come to the vigil mass, to dinner, or you can join us for the holy hour at the end of the day. But there's going to be something for everyone. Um, there's like games and activities for kids. There's enriching talks for adults. Um, mass adoration, but we're excited because it's going to be um, a chance for people to come together who don't always get to come together. So it's the sisters, their families, our colleagues, um, the principals and pastors at all the schools where our sisters serve, you know, and we're all over the place. We're in 11 different states, you know, 19 different schools. Um, so we're just bringing all these people together and we're excited to have everyone um, all together in one room. The, and also excited about the thought of, um, you know, all of us are trying to bear the light of Christ to the world in our different places. And it's important to know you're not alone in that. So we're excited that all these people are going to come together and have a chance just to be encouraged and inspired and, you know, strengthen, um, you know, that the, the own light within us so we can go out and, uh, and continue to shine that light uh, in the world today. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be a great event. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be lots of kids. You can come and go. Um, it's completely free. And, uh, and you can find more about it on our website. So it's just sistersofmary.org. Um, it's kind of the first thing you see on our website. The week before the event, we have the vow ceremony. So our sisters making their uh, their first vows, their final vows. Um, those events are that week also. So it's kind of the culmination of, um, of that week of celebration and just a culmination of these 25 years of the Lord's blessings to us. Beautiful. Well, Sister Elizabeth Ann, thank you for your yes. And please know that we are sending prayers your way to your community and may God continue to grow for many more years to come your order. So again, thank you for joining us today and um, enjoy the celebrations for this month. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. God bless you, sister.